Look at this. So, Morvan. Uh, probably just copy paste meta deck. Uh, that has to go away. Oh my god. Not much freedom when it comes to mulliganing this time. The question here is... Do I... Do I just play Ragnarok? How much will I play, like, round one? Because we might just say, like, play a little bit, then pass. Pass big time. And, uh... And force him to... Okay, he had to use up uh, uh, the Enraged Ifrit for that, that's fine. Maybe this will force out some removal as well. Overall pretty weak card. Uh, not impactful in any way. But if, if it somehow gets out any removal, uh, then that's perfect. Chill out! Okay. Got out of luck. Which is great. These locker guys are not... Well, the thing is, these guys at, give, at least give up two points for locks. And this guy gives up one point for an ability. So, this is a trade that favors me. And the most expensive guy I have, uh, that's... Well, that has an ability. That's relevant. Uh, that's Pafko, it's like, he gives up three points. Well, it's an eight point, that has five uh, points. Okay, eight supply, five point a man, who gives up like technically like three-ish three points for an ability. So it's, it's not too bad. If we get locked, uh, we're gonna survive. That's what we need, guys. Uh, find a deck that's just like stupidly broken. And uh, then I could just like brag about it. And everyone's just gonna be... That was the good old times. That's how a lot of people found my stream. It's like, oh my god. Like some deck. So good. My, my work. Okay. What are we doing here? Not that I'm really going for world, domina world domination here, but, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have fun. So, do I want to trade an archer here? I might just not do that. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit odd, but I, I think I'm gonna pass. So we're gonna have a max round, round two. Max length, round two. Then he can choose to push me, but it's pretty unlikely to be a successful push because it's an extremely long round two. Um, maybe not that. I don't think he has any weapons, but this is a decent throwaway, but nah. I don't think he really has weapons. He can try to push me a little bit. Well, I still should try to get some decent cards. Okay. That doesn't really mean anything. I'll just get some value generation. So what's our plan? Uh that could mean something. Now 
Now we have two choices. Now at this point he might just push us. And we have two choices. Either we play the Elven Swordmaster. Hoping that he's gonna... Not gonna play much. Or we just say, screw you. I'm not getting pushed out of the game. And we just go Ragnarok. And with that we just give like a pretty clear message. That I will not get bled round to. Yeah. Now the problem here is that we need to get a, a lot of points. But I can just use one tick of Bruver. Oh, that's not good enough. No, no more Bruver. I don't really like this repeating hero power. That could have seemed like a overcommitment, but well, we just don't see it. I think I think he, if he gave up early, that would have been just a mistake, or at least I would have considered it a mistake. Uh, I don't want to get more traps. Wait, what? Even I have... Wait, even right now I have too many, too many traps? No, 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 we are putting back the this in the deck. We just don't see it. I don't want to have a horn. This is good. Yeah, we're not gonna get the log, but this is fine. Yeah, let's go with it. Uh, this could be the opener. Melee, yeah. We're gonna play it on melee. Obviously, the then we're probably gonna Burza in the back. And we'll see the rest. My deck is Ragnarok. The Synthesis. Oh, right. Uh, that was the the recommended card in the, the copy-paste Bruver. And I, I didn't like it. I don't like these uh, immune cards. That's not my style. I, I, well, I understood why, why it was in there, but that's not my style. Well, the fact that the Chironex was used to take out the Elven Swordmaster is pretty great. Of course, I don't have that many value generators, but still, like, I would say that he did his job. Uh, Unicorn, Cairo. Yeah, yeah, that was like kind of the, the 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 copy option. I didn't want to go with that. That wasn't my style. I, I considered it though. It it's good, but uh, I, I I shifted the deck more toward value generation. Uh, Roach, your vet, Pitfall, Horn, Free Witchers, Crushing, Two Archers. Oh yeah, Archers. Oh, uh, I think the copy deck didn't have archers in it. It had like wolves. Dragoons, Swordmaster, Wolfpack, uh, Dwarf, Skirmishers. Mm. Mm. You can play this guy in the back. You're just killing everything at this point. Copy paste from where? Uh, apparently, the, well, I'm not saying you copy pasted it. I'm, I'm just saying that that's what the copy paste is uh, running. Uh, uh, the R2 is a tier list is what, what it has. I didn't copy mine from anywhere, but enemies thinking. I mean, where did you see it? Uh, it let or at two's like I just typed in Gwen tier list, and it was the first search result. Team Aratusa and uh, tier two Bruver trap. Uh, that's that. <laughs> Why he played it in the back? Well, 
Why not just play Puffco Gale? This guy is tricky. He's trying to confuse me. We will not get fooled. Okay, maybe do Elven Scout. You should not have come here. It's nice to have uh, cards with abilities because now the Elven Scouts are maybe staying alive. I don't want to say it right. Uh, just yet, but they are maybe staying alive. Who knows? Who is oh, only one of them got locked, which is fine. So, we are gonna get a crushing trap. I can go with Archer on the melee. Oh, we can go like range too, doesn't matter too much. But I gotta be careful. <laughs> All right. Do I need the archer? Well, we should play the crushing trap as late as possible. Maybe we just want to move this guy. Yeah. Uh, let's do ranged. They can hide. Hit that and hit that. Maybe we're just gonna pit trap. Just, just like randomly, like, you know, just like putting in a random pit trap. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that would have been pretty good earlier, but no. Uh... Okay. Let's do a pit trap. Then Yorvitz Gambit, maybe. We, we just gotta be tricky about this. <laughs> I... Fine. Well, one of one of, is a horn, and the other one is a crushing trap. Playing crushing traps later is preferable. Let's deploy. Your vet. Oh no, that's not good. Let's do your vet's gambit. Okay. I should try to move his guys. This world dies with it. Oh, Roach. Just making it too easy. I don't know if you're gonna replay the pit trap. This is just... I don't know. It's tough. So, Brewer Hog can move this guy. And this guy. And we might just go and move with the Brihid Dragoon. Slaughter them to a man. Okay. Pretty sweet. I may have made a mistake. That I probably made a mistake about this uh, placement. He doesn't have any specific role he has to be on. The common I care for them. Okay. Let's go like this. I definitely want to play uh well crushing trap number two. But do we just Pit trap after that. Well, he's not gonna play more units in the front, so uh, no, 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 no. Take that, but take back the pit trap. 
Then play the crushing trap. Uh, something like that. Then be pit trap. <gasps> this is so confusing, I confuse myself. Order will triumph. It must triumph. Oh. <laughs> So his, his ambush card will not work. This is great. Pass. Pretty good. Plus eight points. Plus. <laughs> oh, this is great. Chill out, mates. He passing. This is good. Oh my god, 15 points! Okay, he, he didn't get all those uh, points uh, rightfully. But that still is pretty damn big. He got 10 points, I think. Yeah, we played. He got 8 points from tra traps plus 2 from the knight. But like, 15 points, well, not 15. It's like 13 points for the 4 supply unit is pretty sweet. Chill out the Grandmaster. Uh, I think he might need to chill out after that. GG. Alright. Uh, not Roach. Oh my god. So much Moody getting freedom here. Does he have weapons? Hmm. Whoa. Give one charge to a unit, cool down to you. Okay. So, this guy has two charges. So this is technically worth 12 bucks, right? That's a decent lock target, or... What is he... How greedy is he? Do I need to save the lock? Oh. Who showed up for that? I really dislike round one. Ah. Because... You're just gonna get six more cards later. If I play this, he's just gonna die. I don't have a way to deal enough damage. You can play Burza in the back. I promise. As you wish, my lady. This is the only guy. Wow. So he can generate a lot of value. I can just move him with the lock. We can play a Swordmaster and it possibly won't. Swords, I smile. Uh, die right away. Not a guarantee. Uh-oh. Trouble approaches. Never mind that. Cooldown of two. So he's really good in the long round. He's committing a... The tougher ballistas. I 
can just play the sappers maybe. Yeah, I feel like yeah, he is he's definitely uh in favor here. Um demo vent apparently is extremely weak to removal. Holy crap, look at this. Three point guy value generator, three point guy value generator, three point guy value generator. Insane. If I had a very reliable way of de dealing damage, like I had some two spears, this guy would be so dead. But uh, no such luck right now. I don't think he has uh, weapons. So we're just gonna play the artifact guys. And seems like locking will be reasonably useful later. Yeah, that's a pretty big lead. Maybe we're just gonna pass. What the hell, them event? Well, honestly, well, we're not, well. Frankly, we're not really running into a lot of demo vent usually, but uh, damn. Yeah, those, well, that would be nice fun to pick up at least. I, I don't want to go overboard with the traps. Okay, that, that's still okay. Uh, we can just throw away the Reed Sappers. Blue Mountains! How tricky it will be. So, we can play all the traps. Uh, getting some trap... Uh oh, no, 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 no. Definitely need to have less traps. We can just get out the crushing traps later and at the same time. I think that would be the best. Uh, yeah, we got two traps in the deck. This is fine. This is just 100% fine for me. And I am totally cool with this. We can't chance it that we're gonna get a, a trap. That would be too bad. We can use the Mahakam Horn to, to scare him. Uh, let's just start with the Smuggler. Special prize, just for you, love. What do you got? Well, he must have something a lot better than... Well, a lot better. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Just scare him with the horn. Wait, what? Oh. That's a charge unit too. Of course it is. Do I lock it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I should, but... Elven Scout will die. Let's play the Mahakam Horn. In the front. So I have five movement. So technically I can waste... Well, but wherever he gains special... What the fuck is he doing? So we need to move our luck, right? Slaughter them to a man. He's not ranged. Uh, we're learning that. Well, he has multiple ways to generate new value. Not sure if he's gonna play special cards ever. We can just surprise him with a pitfall trap. 
can just play the Elven Scout. Okay. Well, he, he must suspect. You need to lock him? But that's problematic. This is tricky, because I want to hit that, but I also kind of want to uh, double crushing trap the f a first row. Do I just move it twice? We don't need to lock that. I can just move that. And that takes it out. So, I guess we do that. Then we pitfall trap. Critical thinking. The sign of a healthy mind. That's annoying. Well, ultimately I can just move up a lock in the back by locking it. We can technically pitfall trap again. Or we can just use the last mover after the crushing traps. Although we might wanna use the lock before. But the, the, the way this works is that he, he almost always has the next guy who is a juicier and better target to lock. Pull down a one. Now, but now we got a problem. That's a pretty big and obvious problem that this needs to play be played not last I wanna kinda lock that up I can technically kill Priscilla with Bruver and we can just play Yorvet here Bit of a weird one, but I think she had to go. Yeah. Not great. Yorvid's Gambit. Double Crushing Trap. Oh fuck, we played the wrong... Yorvid in the wrong place. Should've played it over there. Okay. You stand before royal majesty. With one charges. Lock a unit and move it to the other row. So we can move Avalok. And this is gonna hit for 9 and... Uh, actually, it's gonna be 8 and 10. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't even know where my cards are. So this is gonna be 18 plus 8. So technically we have like... 40 versus 26. Oh! Plus the boosts. So like... 46 versus... Uh, Return her to me. 
Oh, you... What? He was really saving the lot, too. <laughs> Ultimately, locking Johnny would have been... Probably better early on. Odd game, but it worked out. GG.